welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So this video is about uh, this hair that was given to me by a client. It was bleached pretty oddly and it was pretty ratty so she gave it to me to restore and it went from this to this. So if you like it, keep watching. Okay, so first things first, I had to go ahead and detangle this hair. So I thought I could shampoo it first, but this hair was so knotted that I actually had to start with conditioner. So right here you see me using my Design Essentials. Um, this really cool brush I got at the beauty supply store. It's pretty good for like minimal tangles, but not really big ones. So right here you see me sitting down because I was just like, whoa, I have to reevaluate with some olive oil replenishing conditioner. And I had to work that through each section of the hair until I got all the tangles out. But wait, can you see me biting my lip? That's how you know this was stressing me out. But I actually got it through finally, and this took about like an hour. Okay, so now it's time for the bleaching process. I started with 30 Developer and um, Blue Bleach from L'Oreal. And I went ahead and I mixed it all up. And this is actually, I learned this the other day, it's called a money piece. And it's where you highlight the two parts of your hair in the front. So that's what I'm doing here. And then at the back, I wanted to do the same platinum blonde that I achieved with this money piece in the front, which you will also see me doing. So to achieve that platinum blonde in the back, I just sectioned off the middle of the hair and then I made a triangle like the shape of a triangle and then I bleached that part of the hair which you can see me doing now start slow I uh, sometimes I like to rush and I just like to slap the bleach on but if you really want this product to if you really want the product to take you have to take your time with each strand and comb it out as well so now that I got my money piece done in the front and my little platinum piece done in the back, I went ahead and I'm just checking on it to see how it's doing. I went ahead and I bleached the rest of the hair. So in bleaching the rest of the hair, I didn't bleach the ends because I wanted to have more of a like a darker tips and then a lighter root. That's what I was going for. Okay, so I want to explain something to you about how I use the high color. I went ahead and I used, as you can see, sandstone blonde. I'm going to put a little arrow right there. And um, I hated the way it came out. I was really looking for the golden ginger. So what I had to do was after I colored it with the sandstone blonde, it came out a weird grayish tone, which I'm going to show you right here. And then I was like, oh no. So I went back and I found the golden ginger and then I redid it and this is how I got my look that I was looking for. Okay, and you see this little part that I'm playing with in the back? That was my piece that I dyed, that I bleached first, platinum. And what was really good about that was I never touched it with the sandstone blonde. And honestly, it looked so much better with the golden ginger. So um, that's a thing that I really need you guys to understand. So after you bleach your money piece in the front and you bleach your platinum piece in the back, you're gonna go ahead and 
dye it with whatever color you are looking for which is what I'm doing now after I learned my lesson with that nasty sandstone blonde I am now going over and coloring the hair with the golden ginger and these were my results I am going to stop talking now don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you turn on your notification bell because that's how you know when I post a new video you feel me thank you guys This boy.